tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I, if I could have that half of my life, no fear. Lots of children have no fear. That's the closest way, that's the only way I can describe it. That's not all of it. But it is something to really, really feel. Our people, people over profit is what we're here for. Women, liberation is why we're here today. There is a war against black women. I became political years and years and years ago just by default. I have a couple of civil rights activist family members in Louisville. I learned a lot and I've taken a lot from them. I became political because it's just in my blood. I am from Louisville, Kentucky, home of Brianna Taylor. I believe it was um, the ref refugees are being iced out. Um, it may have even been before that during the Sandra Bland movement that I really started waking up and paying attention. I've done music for about 20, tell them my age, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't yeah, matter. <laughs> Thank you. I started, um, found, came to my calling in music when I, over 20 years ago. And over the past five or six years, being more activated, I call myself an artivist now because I have a gift of music. You know, God was activist. And I stand with my comrades and all of us in this fight. PSL has influenced me. I've written about five or six more songs, and they're all about the movement. All about the movement. So I will continue to speak to that. This is how I fight through my music. I came upon a situation where I was pulled over by the Gwinnett County Police Department. I was alone, small black woman by myself. I know a little something about my rights, so I'm not gonna let you intimidate me. I don't feel comfortable until, you know, I won't exit the vehicle until there's a female officer on the side. This angered him. There is a war against black women at this time. There has been. I was speaking to a gentleman here since 2015 during the time of the Sandra Bland situation. There has been a, an attack on black women by police department across this U.S. And over the past six years, there's been 48 deaths. Black women have died by police brutality. Why? Why is there a need to use that type of force on any woman? Why do these women have to die? Why do our men have to die? The officer was upset for me asking for a female officer to come on site before I exit my vehicle. Cop then approaches my vehicle again, putting on his gloves. I felt threatened even more, so I'm like, oh, I think he may try to pull me out of my vehicle. I have a visualization of Sandra Bland, officer telling her I will light you up if you don't get out of this vehicle. What do I do? I'm scared as shit. I feel like if I get out of my vehicle, he may try to light me up. Just because I asked for a woman to be on site. Because he's a pretty rude guy. And speaking of that, our brothers, our men, our men, we gotta stand up, protect your women. It doesn't matter if she's your girlfriend or not, speak up for your women. It doesn't matter if she's black or white or not, speak up for your women. We have a fight that we have to fight together. It doesn't matter what party you support, what neighborhood that you live in. We need our men because as my sister, comrade Ansley said, women are the leading point to this revolution. We nurture, we love, we care, we uplift like no other one can. So we need our men in this fight and socialism. There is a war against black women. ends up pushing me at the end of it all. Why? There was no cause for physical abuse. So I'm here to speak out against misuse of authority, misuse of the badge. It doesn't matter your color, gender, none of that matters. If you're going to protect and serve, protect and serve. Protect and serve the people, protect and serve your communities, 
and go home to your family so that we can go home to our families. But I've been hearing a lot about black women in the news lately, progressive news and national news being abused. I've been disrespected by men. I've been disrespected and ridiculed by other women. And I've been let down.